Vladimir Putin received more than 10,000 troops, including officers and generals. In an interview for Channel 24, retired British Army Colonel Hamish de Breton Gordon told who will fight on Russia's side against Ukraine. He recalled that NATO Secretary General Mark Rutte confirmed that North Korean troops are deploying to Russia's Kursk region. Western media reported that these forces are part of the elite unit of the North Korean army. At the same time, intelligence information appeared that the forces that are deployed on the front line of the Kursk region are young people aged about 20 years. They are not trained and prepared for such a big war. It could really be the elite forces of North Korea. We know that their army is poorly trained and poorly equipped. The main thing that worries Kim Jong-un is South Korea. So I think that his main forces are located on the border with South Korea. And yet Kim Jong-un needs nuclear technology. Hamish de Breton Gordon stressed. Therefore, quite mutually beneficial cooperation has been concluded between Russia and the DPRK. Kim Jong-un seeking to destroy South Korea can train his military and get important technologies. Vladimir Putin, who is running out of people and has a fear of announcing mobilization, gets the necessary manpower. It sounds terrible, but these young North Korean men are just cannon fodder. It is shocking that these barely trained young men from another corner of the planet were sent to their deaths. There are reports that they are already trying to desert or find a safe place in Ukraine because they were thrown to certain death. The British colonel explained. However, not only ordinary soldiers, but also generals and officers came to Russia from North Korea. Recall that in early October, officers of the DPRK visited Donetsk they were killed by the Ukrainian military. I am sure that it is part of the agreement between Putin and Kim Jong-un. Without a doubt, North Korean generals want to have a say in what their soldiers do, so they are invited to the high command. But I doubt the Russians will really listen to them. Hamish de Breton Gordon said, North Korean generals and officers are also a legitimate target for the Ukrainian military. However, even their destruction is unlikely to worry Kim Jong-un and especially Vladimir Putin. Each of them does not care about the victims at all. They do not care about the collateral damage. Putin cares little about casualties on his part and gets rid of generals at an alarming rate. I don't think that Kim Jong-un is even one iota worried about his soldiers and will worry about being killed. The retired colonel added. The aerial scouts of the Skyforce unit of the 108th Brigade under the Ukrainian Armed Forces have intercepted the assembly point of Russian army soldiers in the occupied territory of Zaporizhia region and passed the information to the artillerymen. More than 40 invaders who came to the forest area with gazelle vehicles were struck with the HIMARS rocket system and cluster artillery. As a result, most of the vehicles and occupying soldiers in the area were destroyed. Thank you.